Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. In this series we talk about all things wild camping, tips and various things that we've learnt along the way. Yep, any questions you've got or just general camping chit chat. So tonight we're doing a bit of an experiment with winter looming upon us. Lots of people are apprehensive firstly about doing winter camping but secondly forking out 100 odd quid whatever on a dedicated winter bag. So what we're going to do is take our semi expensive winter bags and we're going to compare them to a cheap two season summer bag but with the addition of insulated jackets so the way this will work is we'll spend half the evening in a winter bag in t-shirts and the second half of the evening through the night in our two season bags with an insulated jacket on and basically compare them and share our thoughts in the morning right so fast forward to night time and we're in the tent in the garden <laughs> It gives a rough sort of one, two degrees throughout the night. What we've done is set our alarm for 3 a.m. So sort of middle of the night, middle of the night. It's about 11 p.m. now. Two bags with us tonight. Well, four actually, but... We'll... <laughs> You're not going to squeeze into two. <laughs> no, we've got the Softy Elite 4s and the Snug Pack Travel Pack 2s. So the travel pack twos, they go down to a comfort of two. Yep, two, two degrees, degrees, and the softy elite fours are a comfort of minus ten. Yes, minus <laughs> ten. So what we're going to do, we're going to have the first half of the evening in our winter bags, which is the softy elite fours, just you know, with long sleeve t-shirt on, sort of thing. Set the alarm for three, get up, then put our insulated jackets on and get in the travel pack twos and then sort of compare the two in the morning and yeah see what's what so we'll catch you at 3 a.m in the morning i think they should all set their alarms for 3 a.m and get up too <laughs> yeah you set your alarms too <laughs> It's 3 a.m. So been in the softy elite falls now for well since we went to bed. So we're going to swap over now. We've got got the travel pack threes there and some wet insulated jacket. So we're going to swap over and get in those now and uh, try and get back to sleep. Right, we're up. I was just going to say oh, that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you didn't see. <laughs> right, we're up. We're just going to grab a quick shower and then we'll meet you in the living room and let you know the verdict. Right, let's start off by saying it was a, quite a cold night, to be fair. 0 0.5 degrees Celsius, it read on our thermometer, which is around 32 degrees Fahrenheit in old money. As you know, we set the alarm for 3am and then changed our sleeping bags and uh, put our insulated jackets on. And see how we get on. Well, the first thing I've noticed is as soon as I got into the summer bag, my legs and feet were cold from, from minute one. Yeah, and me too. They didn't warm up. Me too. <laughs> my body was warm, but what you find tends to happen is you might think, yeah, I can cope with cold legs if my body's warm, but your body is always fighting to keep your legs warm, so what it does is, is lowers your body temperature, you know, to keep your extremities warm somewhat, especially your legs, they're quite a bulk of your body, to be fair. So um, it, our bodies were warm for the most part, but you could tell they're starting to cool down. It's quite uncomfortable having cold feet and legs anyway. Yeah, to be honest, we didn't last the night through. I think I lasted about an hour and then decided enough was enough. I was cold and I got back into the other sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah, the, Zoe changed hers about, was about, about four, 20 past four. Yeah, yeah, and I got up for the toilet about, it was about six o'clock. And then I thought, you know what, I'm just getting back into my winter bag. You yeah. saw me in my nice warm one. <laughs> yeah. I thought, I'm doing that too. <laughs> to be fair, as soon as I got back into the winter bag, it's just, he just wore, it's, yeah, warm straight up again. They're amazing bags. I mean, I'm not trying to push the 
snug pack softy elite fours or anything but the they they've, are very good. they've got a reflective um, sort of insulation so if you've ever put one of them um, survival blankets around here you feel the heat pounding back at you well they've got that technology built into the insulation so as soon as you get in them you can feel your heat rebounding it oh it's just yeah i absolutely love mine to be honest they're it's just they're just a warm brilliant. they're just a warm haven to get into and um it's um interesting to do because you just didn't know which way it would have gone it might have gone that it worked okay but it kind of i'm not really going to recommend it i don't think to be honest i think if you're going to try something like that you're going to need some proper insulated like softy trousers something padded or down trousers a decent insulated jacket and i think to be fair you'll probably be okay to a point uh, i mean if you're carrying them anyway not everyone carries insulated trousers you, you could get away with using that system but I just, you know, I like a bit of leeway in the temperature ratings of our bag. So even if we went up a mountain and the temperature dropped a lot lower than what I was expecting, it'd be nice to have a winter bag and have an insulated jacket and be like mega warm all night. Cause it's, you know, yeah. you've got to stay safe in the winter. You can't really take a lot of chances. I yeah, mean, the temperature can change just dramatically quickly, can't it, when you're up high as well? Yeah, I mean, if you're staying on low level ground, you can you can risk it. You know, if you if just always give yourself a bit of leeway and sleeping bags are always rated on the optimistic side of things yeah. just from a, <laughs> just from a sales point of view I'd always go five or six degrees above on the comfort level that you think you're going to use it in because you know temperatures can drop a bit lower and like I say they're always optimistic anyway I can understand they want to sell sleeping bags and they're tested in laboratory conditions and you know and people sleep colder Zoe sleeps colder than what I do yeah, so definitely. So she probably needs to add about 10 degrees to us. <laughs> so, but yeah, all means try it. If you want to go lightweight in winter or you just want to give it a go on the cheap, but just take plenty of warm clothes and then don't push it. I mean, it's not worth the risk. Awesome winter bags they are. I mean, the Travel Pack 2s, they're brilliant bags in their own right. I mean, we bought ours probably three or four years ago now, probably longer. have been absolutely fantastic in the right conditions. I mean, we've used them in freezing conditions before, but we've taken down quilts to use inside and we've been wearing insulated jackets. And in that instance, they do work well. But uh, yeah, I hope you found this useful. Uh, just another one of those little experiments. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a way into doing some camping out of the season if you've not got a dedicated winter bag yet. I mean, but just be careful with it, you know. So, um, as always, thanks for watching. See you again See you soon. on the next one. <laughs>